I thought the game was just what I expected it to be, a dog fight, a grudge match. You know, one word to describe uh, Wilmington I would use would be tough. Uh, the people that I talked to in the film that I seen, those guys never quit. Uh, and, and they had opportunities to in the first half. Um, when we made a little bit of a run, uh, they just didn't quit. And, and it shows the, uh, the character uh, of those kids over there. Uh, I thought Jan, you know, obviously he's one of my AAU kids, so I figured he would take more of a uh, leadership role in the second half, which he did. Uh, so, but I thought at the end of the day, my guys did the small things to win the game. We made plays. Um, Rico got a huge deflection, which turned into a turnover uh, for us. So, um, I just thought it was a grudge match, and, and I think in the state semis, this is probably how games it should be. Questions? Yes. Can you talk about why you didn't put anybody on the block on uh, the last three thirds? We hardly ever do that if you watch us a lot. Uh, first of all, I trust my son uh, and I trust Marquavis Wilson to knock down free throws. If we're in that situation tomorrow, I'll do the same thing because I believe they'll knock them down. Uh, but throughout, throughout our year, uh, there are a lot of times that I take four guys off. I pull those guys over to me and we can kind of use that as a quick 30 second timeout. Uh, so that's kind of that's why we do that. And then on top of that, you know, somebody, if I have some, some guys down there and they get tangled up and we get a foul, you know, that far away from the basket, we, we don't need that. Coach, you go up by 20 in the third. What was working at for Lyman Senior at that point offensively? It just seemed like you guys found groove and wasn't sure if that was a playbook or that was just hustle. I think it was just hustle. And, and I think, uh, you know, the guard play really uh, took control in that third quarter. Um, and I thought guys got relaxed, and that's when Wilmington made a run. Uh, we, wasn't, we wasn't ball strong like we normally are. Um, and, and, and being up like that in this caliber type of game, I'm sure kids are looking at the clock every chance they get, um, hoping that it hurry up, hurry up and ends. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, you know, guys at the end made plays that, that helped us get this win. Like to see you guys close out a three-point game like that. Very quality. Um, you know, we had, we had a mishap when when he, Rico fouled Jaren. Um, you know, that far away from the basket, he has to understand. Just keep a high hand uh, and and don't leave his feet. You know, but we've won in so many different ways. If you followed us this year, we've won in so many different ways. Um, and it's just this is just another way that we've you know been able to claw out a win against a, a quality team. You're probably 99.9% .9 sure Cumberland's going to take the last shot. What's your defensive thinking? I, I told his buddy X to guard him at the free throw line. That's exactly what I said because, I mean, everybody knows he's going to take the shot. I was hoping that X didn't reach um, and pick up a cheap one. Um, but, you know, I've seen Jaron make shots like that. Um, you know, we've coached, I've coached against Jaron since the fourth grade. And then last summer we had an opportunity to, to have him play with us. So. Terrific kid. He's going. He's going to be a high-level player at Cincinnati. Um, but he did what you know. He did what most talented kids do: is put the team on their back and drew some fouls, made some free throws, and made some shots. Excellent. What you do in the last play? It seemed like you kind of double clutched the shot or something. You didn't take a straight shot. I was just trying to turn him, and when I turned him, he, that's what basically happened. He just double clutched. I cut him off, and he jumped in there and kind of double clutched the shot. Glad he missed it. Coach, how special for you? <clears throat> with everything you've accomplished and having him do what he did this year, and what's this mean to you? Oh, it's definitely a blessing. You know, anytime you have an opportunity to coach your son, it's not, all, it's not always fun because uh, we're around each other, you know, all the time. Um, and, we, and we are both similar. We are very, very alike. And sometimes that, that isn't good. Uh, we're both competitors in our own way. Um, but, you know, he's the leader of this team. You know, I call things and, and sometimes he'll override me and I give him that freedom because he's the one that's on the floor. He sees things from a different perspective than me on the sideline. Uh, but to be able to coach my son is, is always an honor. You know, I, I think his game grew coming over to uh, Lyman Senior, having an opportunity to be in the gym with me a lot more outside of the season. Um, you know, but this is going to be, this is going to be, you know, a very, a very bitter moment after tomorrow because these guys know not only have I coached him, but I've coached these guys since they were, you know, fourth grade. We've been doing football and basketball together for many years, and after tomorrow, uh, they, they don't have to hear my mouth anymore, and I know they're happy about that. 
Rico, Rico what, one of you guys have been here, obviously, before, but none of the rest of you have. You know, how are you able to come out so fast? Um, just, I mean, practice got us prepared for that, and I mean, we just jumped out like we knew how to, and just put the pressure on them. <clears throat> X, what was it like for you to be back here on the big stage, uh, second time in your high school career, and then you had that floater at your end, uh, a, little, a little bit of a flashback, so to speak, just not as much of a high arc. It had to be pretty special to be back here. Yes, it was very special. I mean, it's a it's a blessing. So I'm just I'm just trying to finish it out, but that floater definitely gave me a flashback. Before the game, just shooting around, so you, can, you can hear a few of my teammates just just reminded me of that of that floater when I played at uh, LCC. So it was just it, it's just a blessing just being here coming again. But at the same time, I have one more goal I want to accomplish. What was your defense philosophy on Cumberland? To have, you know, a good team effort. I mean, obviously, we have nobody on our team that can stop the kid one on one. So we had to collectively uh, be tuned in from a, from a mental uh, standpoint and guard the guy. Um, I didn't think he pressed the issue enough, and I'm happy that he didn't in the first half. Um, you know, but we want to just try to slide in and take some charges. We know he's strong going downhill at the rim. Uh, but, you know, we just wanted, wanted to collectively uh, have a team effort in guarding him. Um, we went to the 1-3-1 uh, because from watching some film, they would prefer man. Uh, even though 99% of the time we would prefer to play you man. Um, but, you know, when we put uh, DeMonte Lyles in the game and he, he plays the bottom on our 1-3-1, he can get sideline to sideline, you know, really fast. And we're comfortable with that. And, and Rico's up top with his length. Uh, so, you know, I thought that slowed him down a little bit. Can you talk about Jar, the, the uh, effort and what he gave you guys today? That three was mammoth at the end of the third. You know, Jar, I, th I think people will get an opportunity to see Jar's complete game next year. You know, he's had to take a back seat uh, from some of the seniors that we have, and, he, and he's accepted it. Uh, so next year, he's going to be a big time player. You know, him and I, you know, he does the 530 workouts with X, and, and him and I do those things again next year. But anytime Jar shoots, you know, we don't we don't say anything uh, because he has the green light, you know, but he's accepted it. He takes smart shots. He takes confident shots. Um, and, and I'm happy for him. Coach, you won 33 to 20 in the <coughs> rebound column. That's, that's got to be a strong takeaway considering in the past, maybe you haven't always won the rebound battle. Yeah, definitely. Anytime we've struggled, it's always been because of rebounding. Um, and I've seen we were. We were ahead by quite a bit at halftime from the from the rebounding perspective. But you know, in order to win championships, you have to defend, you have to rebound. Everything else is going to go out the window the last few minutes of the game. You have to get stops, and you have to win at the glass. And that's always been our two keys from day one. Um, and, and the times that we do that, uh, and that's why we're 29-0. Next, talk about doing those little things, too, like, like Rico's steal at the end. Obviously, you got a big time rebound. I mean, as you said, those things help, but at the same time, we're just trying to work as a collective as a unit. We're just trying to find um, any ways to close out the game, whether that's the steal or the rebound I got. So we just we just knew every around that time, every every um, possession is key. We have to just play defense and hustle, get the 50 50 balls, and just and stay together. Okay, any more questions, Coach? When you think about possible opponent? Yeah. Is there one that you would rather have, one no. that you definitely would not? <laughs> what do you think about? You know, uh, both teams are good. This is going to be an interesting game because they played in the semis last year. So um, obviously, Willie Jackson is another one of my AAU kids. Just had a you know, quick conversation with him out there. You know, Garfield, you know, they have five guys that's five committed to the Division One schools. Uh, so that should say enough. And you know, those guys are tough. And Westerville was here last year. Um, they're big. Uh, so, you know, you got to kind of pick your poison with, with either team that you play. Uh, I guess I'm happy that we can go out and scout now and see because it's a quick turnaround. I think it's going to come down to effort. Um, the X and O's go out the window for the most part tomorrow. It's going to come down to effort. And like you were talking about earlier, defending and rebounding. Uh, Willie Jackson is a monster at the glass. You know, Caleb Wesson is a monster everywhere. So, you know, we won't have our hands full, but that's what you would want in the state final. Three goals would like to be at the state championship for tomorrow. It just it just feels good, just being here with um, <clears throat> the people that I started it with basically since I was a little kid. But uh, being here with Coach Q and just trying to win it tomorrow, finish it out tomorrow.